everyone! Night Fox here, bringing you another episode of Tech Tuesday, where this Tuesday we are going to be diving in depth, in detail, on how to add music and a dual commentary into your live stream using the Elgato software. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Join me on the computer. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do once we get on the computer is pull up an internet browser, whether it be Firefox, Google Chrome, or Internet Explorer itself, and we're going to go to VoiceMeter, that's M-E-E-T-E-R, dot com, and it's going to take us to a website that maybe look like this. Um, as they update it, they might change it, but this is what we're looking for, um, and it's a place where we can download a program called, well, VoiceMeter. Um, this program is used alongside with the Elgato software um, to help achieve what we need it to do for our live stream in adding uh, music and dual commentary to it so everybody in the stream can hear what's going on. Um, so basically think of this as a hub for all of your audio equipment from your mic, for your Skype call, and for your music playing kind of all bundled up into one. It throws it all together in a nice little ball and then shoots it over to the Elgato. The Elgato then picks it up and streams it out to the audience. So that's what this software program does. It's pretty easy to download and configure. We're going to go ahead and download it really quick. Um, it's a fairly small software program. It is a zip file, so we're going to need to unzip it and install it. Um, while it's downloading, let's go ahead and go up to the top. There's actually another program that we're going to need. Well, it's a driver um, that we're going to need to uh, install while we're here. And that is actually in the next tab over up at the top, seen as the Virtual Audio Digital Cable Driver. Um, and basically it allows you to plug in one source into another source, um, basically like what a cable would do. So we're going to scroll about halfway down here, and we're going to use this in our Skype call. So the Skype audio is going to come from the input of the cable, and then it's going to shoot it to the voice meter um, via the output. So it might be a little bit confusing. Hopefully once we get it all uh, installed and I start configuring it, it'll make a little bit more sense. Um, but basically we're going to come about halfway down the page, look for the down download button. We're going to click it, download it, and it should download as well. Again, it's not very big. Um, so that's it. That's all we need to do with that. Once these two are downloaded, we can install them. So you're going to right, you're going to click, you're going to open it, and it's probably going to pull up a folder. We're going to need to extract the files out of the folder itself. Um, it shouldn't take very long, and then you just double click on the setup, click yes to allow the user account control, and you should get something that looks sort of like this. Um, now this isn't a big program, I've told you multiple times now. Um, you're going to click install, it's going to go through and install the program really quick, and there you go, now it's done. So we need to note this, you must reboot the computer for it to finalize the installation. So we'll keep that in mind. We're actually going to install the driver as well before we do a restart on the computer. Um, so we're good there. We can delete that out and we're going to go to the other one and open it, do the same process, extract it all out to a folder, and you should get something that looks similar to this. And basically what we're going to be looking for in this section is the VB cable setup. Now as you notice there's two different things here and that's for those that either have the 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit operating system. In my case I have a 64-bit so that's the one that I'm going to use. Um, you go ahead and right click. You'll have to run it as an administrator because it does have to enter a driver into the registry and it can't do that if you're not the administrator. Uh, so you have to run it as administrator and then you have to allow for the account control you'll click yes this will pop up and you'll have to install the driver itself so we're going to go ahead and install the driver and it should unpack it and install it there we go it's in it's successfully done we are good to go now let's go ahead and restart the computer when it comes back we'll start with what we need to do from there Okay, so after we've restarted the computer, what we're going to need to do is pull up the Game Capture software program for Elgato and set it up, getting it ready for the live stream. Now, I've already put in all the settings here. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because I've already done so in a previous video. If you do need help on setting up for the live stream or you want to refer back to it to get step-by-step -step instructions using this program, I recommend you click on the link up in the top right-hand corner that says how to live stream and it'll take you back to that video and you can watch it and follow along. 
So after we've done all of the settings that we're going to need to do, uh, the main thing that you're going to need to change, getting ready for adding music and adding a Skype conversation for dual commentary, you're going to need to change the audio input. And the audio input that we're going to need to be using is the new voice meter software program that we just got through downloading. Um, so once that is put in there and you've got this little blue button to turn it on, uh, we need to configure voice meter itself. And to do that, we just double click it, get the program open, and this is kind of what it looks like. There's a lot of different settings here. We're going to try to run through these as fast as I possibly can. Um, as you can see here, there's, there's two hardware inputs and a virtual input. So the virtual input is going to be your computer sounds. Uh, the main thing, this doesn't change right here. This is always going to stay the same. But the only change that you're going to need to make so your computer actually pushes sounds to this instead of through your computer itself, uh, you need to right click on your speakers, your volume, go to playback devices, and choose the voice meter input, set it as default, and that is pretty much all you need to do. So now when we play music, it'll come through this setting right here and then get pushed back out, um, the virtual out, which is going to go to your stream, and the A, which is actually going to go back into your headphones. So B goes out to the stream, A goes into your headphones. Um, and that's, that's essential for Skype calling, um, especially with, with somebody on the other end. It's not as really as important if you don't hear the music, but you obviously have have to hear the other person in a Skype call uh, and so that's what the A is here for. Um, you obviously don't need this part checked because if you do have it checked like I just did it messes you up because you hear yourself talking and there's a lot of weird echoes going on and stuff like that so I always leave that undone that way I don't have to worry about it. Um, so let's go ahead and go through these other two right here, which is the two hardware inputs. Now the first hardware input is going to be your microphone. Um, now as you can see, there's a WDM and an MME. Um, those are both different types of codecs and stuff. You're going to probably you be using the WDM unless you have like a weird specific sound card and you notice some weird issues, some glitches, or you can't be heard at all, in which case you're more than welcome to try the MME. 95% it's going to be WDM though. So you're going to click whatever you set, whatever type of microphone you use to do all of your commentary. Uh, make sure it's unchecked from the A, that way you don't hear it, but make sure the B is checked, that way the stream can hear it. If for some reason they can't hear you, um, as you can see right now, I've unchecked it. I'm talking, the levels are still working, but over here on the virtual out, you can't hear anything. And down here, you don't hear anything. But if I click it, all of a sudden you see all the levels come back. So that's how you mute each one. Um, say if you want to mute the person talking if they're being unruly, or you want to just end the call and stuff like that, and they don't need to be ended anymore and you don't want to hang up with them, I need to just click that and that mutes them so they can't be heard. Um, so that's how you do that. We're all pretty much set up and ready to go for that part. Now we just need to configure the Skype. That way the other people talking um, on the Skype call can actually be heard in the live stream. And to do that, you're going to need to choose the cable output, which is that VB audio virtual cable that we just installed. Um, so we'll make sure that is done. And then if you go over to your Skype, go to tools and go to options, it's actually going to pull up your general options here. And you need to go down to audio settings and make sure that the speaker section right here is down um, and make sure you choose the cable input. Um, so the input goes here, you go ahead and save it, then the output comes here. So when I call somebody, so we'll call we'll call my friend here, let's call them. Let's just hang on, let's see if they answer. Oh, they did answer, hello! The point is you can see their you can see them talking right here. So I'm talking right now. They're listening. Obviously there's nothing going on in the Skype conversation. It's listening to what I say. I'm going to let it kind of do everything and we'll let it play back and you'll hear everything. And I can mute it and obviously it's still going on but nobody sees anything. Um yeah, so that's how you leave that. That's how you turn that on and off. That's configured. That's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and end the call because I don't want to talk to her anymore. Um, so that's we're, we're good for the Skype call and for us talking. Now we just need to add in the music. And keep in mind, guys, one thing that you need to worry about, especially if you're going to be streaming on YouTube with music, you have to worry about copyright infringement um, issues. So what I like to do is use a royalty-free channel that actually has a whole bunch of amazing music called no copyright sounds. They've got playlist upon playlist of different types of music, 
different genres for you to use that's all royalty free. Um, the only thing you have to do is just credit their channel, maybe give them a link and your video description going back to them so uh, you don't get you know flagged for uh, copyrighted material and stuff like that. So I'm going to put a link to their channel in the description. Give them a check out. You can use them for your streams. They're amazing. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and play something here. Uh, we've got some music going on. I can hear it myself. And if I go back to my voice meter, I'm actually going to turn it up. That way you can see the levels on here go up as well. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to turn the music up. So now that can be heard on the live stream. The chat can be heard on the live stream. I can be heard on the live stream. We're ready to go. Everything's set up and good. Uh, I'm actually going to start streaming right now. And what it's going to do, it's actually loading the stream. Everything's going up. You should be able to hear the music in the background as well as myself talking. Um, everything's going good. It looks like it's preparing for the stream. We're on air now. As you can see, we're good to go. If we go over to our uh, YouTube page, everything will be good there. Uh, now I'm going to make one more call to our friend just to make sure she can be heard. She's a little, she's a little low, so let's go ahead and make her a little bit louder. And I'm going to make myself a little bit louder. All right, hello. Thank you so much for joining in my live stream. It's so nice to have you. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm talking to the Echo Sound Test Service. It's amazing. And there they are. So I hear myself. Everything's good. I'm just going to go ahead and end the call because I really don't care to hear myself again. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Uh, you're good to go. Just remember to keep this program up while you're live streaming because if you exit out, everything will be taken off. You won't be able to hear anything anymore. Um, and yeah, that's, that's never a good thing. So we're ready to go. Everything's good. That's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave a little clip at the end that shows the live stream video itself. And hopefully you'll have um, a lot of luck with it. If you have any questions or issues, just let me know down in the comments section below. That's going to be it for me, guys. Until next time, stay foxy, everybody. And I will see you all later. Bye! I think we're doing it now. I think we are good to go. Alright, so this is a test stream. Fix the start the music. Three, two, one, now. Sounds good. Let's turn up the music a little bit. You can still hear me talking. I'll be like, hey, I gotta mute the music real quick. Let's mute it. That way you guys can't hear it, and I can't hear it, and I can talk to you, and then, oh, yeah, music starts again. Woo! Let's do it. And we'll turn it back down. And, oh, look, we're fixing to get a Skype call. Here it comes. Let's see if we can hear the Skype person. Hello. Welcome to Skype call testing service. Hello. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, okay. your message will be played back to you. Hello, m'lady. Nice of you to drop by. Hopefully you'll join us for some more fun later on down the road. Thank you. Hello, oh, m'lady. Nice of you to drop by. Hopefully this you'll join me. us for this some more me. fun later on down the road. I love this part. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. It works. I hear me. I hear her. If you are able to hear your own voice, I did. then you have configured Skype correctly. Woo! Yeah, thank if you. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, then something is wrong with your audio recording settings. That's not good. Please check your microphone and microphone settings, or visit Skype.com for more help. Thank okay. you for using the Skype call testing service. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, that's it. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining in. We will see you next time. Stay foxy, everybody. Bye! Man, I should really change this shirt more often.